Welcome to my latest 2023 NFL preview. Today I am breaking down the Tennessee Titans and here's how the breakdown works. I start off with three things I like about the Tennessee Titans followed by three things I don't like. Then we'll go over the yearly win total odds. I'll break down the schedule and at the end I review if I am betting on the Tennessee Titans. Let's kick this off with three things I like about the Tennessee Titans. The first thing I like about the Titans is they were maybe the most injury riddled team of 2022. I was going to make a list and discuss all the injuries that happened last year, but that could take hours. Basically, every position group of the Titans had starters miss time due to injuries last year. A lot of people forget the Titans started 7-3, and three, but with mountain injuries, they simply didn't have the players. If relatively healthy, the Titans probably win the AFC South. Remember, they were still in the hunt to win the division up until the final week of the season. Without massive injuries, I fully expect the Titans to improve in 2023. The second thing I like about the Titans is their head coach Mike Rabel. I was adamant when the Titans fired Mike Malarkey and replaced him with Mike Rabel in 2018 that it was a mistake. I was wrong. Rabel, even with a 7-10 record last year, is 48-34 overall, and even with all the injuries that occurred last year, Rabel was able to keep this team together and was in position for the playoffs until Week 18. Play Players love Mike Vrabel, and in my opinion, he's easily a top 10 head coach and one of my favorites. Finally, the third thing I like about the Tennessee Titans is their defense. You heard me mention injuries several times, but this defense was still impressive. Last year, the Titans gave up the fewest rushing yards in the NFL and allowed only 3.4 yards per carry, which also topped the NFL. Add free agent acquisitions, players returning from injury, and one of the best coaches in football and you have a top 10 defense probably top five if they can stay healthy just to recap the three things i like about the tennessee titans they were maybe the most injury riddled team of 2022 I am a big fan of Mike Vrabel, and I love this defense. A side note, Tennessee also announced that they are going to play in their throwback uniforms during the 2023 season. I love these and hope they consider this full time. Now, three things I don't like about the Tennessee Titans. First is a quarterback situation. Two years ago, you trade two draft picks so you can move up in the draft for Malik Willis. This year, you trade two 2023 draft picks plus a 2024 or third for Will Levis. In total, you waste five draft picks in three years because you're not sold on Tannehill to begin with. What the real bad decision was, instead of signing Tannehill to a contract extension in 2020, instead of drafting Isaiah Wilson, you could have drafted Jalen Hurts, who went 21 picks later. I firmly believe in a perfect world, Willis falls out in preseason so you can trade him for a player or draft capital when Levis takes over in 2024, unless you, of course, decide he isn't the guy and you want to trade up for a quarterback in the 2024 draft, keep in mind you're already down a third round pick in that draft. Second thing I don't like is the wear and tear on Derrick Henry. I'm fully aware Derrick Henry had more yards and touchdowns in 2019 and 2020, but I think last season was his best season. You lose your quarterback, then you replace that quarterback with a guy who just came in off the street. The whole time you're missing starters on your offensive line and you still go for 50 1,538 yards and 13 touchdowns, plus add in career highs in receptions and yards with 33 receptions, 398 receiving yards, and you still end up with 1,938 total yards. That's awesome for any running back any season. Big running backs have a shorter life in the NFL, and that has to be considered. Plus, Derrick Henry did miss eight games in 2021 due to injury. I love Derrick Henry, but Father Time is undefeated and comes faster for larger running backs. The third thing I don't like about the Titans is their offensive line. I love the Peter Skarnanski pick. He was my number one offensive lineman in the 2023 draft, but Tennessee is moving him to guard even though he played left tackle at Northwestern. At left tackle will be Andre Dillard, who was a bust in Billy, but the Titans are hoping he can resurrect his career there. Nicholas petit Fear is missing the first six games of the season due to violating the NFL rules on gambling. 
Wrestling and 2021 second round pick Dylan Radus is starting the season on the pup list. Starting right tackle is Daniel Brumsgill with 42 starts. He's the most experienced player of this group, but most of those starts were at guard, not tackle. Basically, you have a combination of inexperience and career backups as your starting offensive line in 2023. Don't get me wrong, this could work, but it's a massive question mark going into the season. To recap the three things I don't like about the Titans, I don't like their quarterback situation, the wear and tear on Derrick Henry, and the Titans offensive line. Now let's look at the yearly win total odds and break down the Titans schedule. As I am making this video, the number across the board is seven and a half. You can check out this video here if you don't understand what yearly win total odds are or how to bet them. I have apps downloaded for Caesars, Barstool, and DraftKings. And looking over the Titans number, if you like the under DraftKings out of these three as the best, where you can take under seven and a half wins at plus 105. If you like the over, as I am making this video, Barstool has the best number at negative 105 for over seven and a half wins. To figure out if the Titans can get to eight wins or not, let's look at their schedule. I highlighted week seven because I could see that being the start of the Will Levis era in Tennessee. If the Titans are two and four or one and five, I could see a change being made at the bye. Those six weeks are tough. The two home games are against playoff teams from last year. Week six is in London and the three road games are not gimmies. If you're betting the over, you really need Tennessee to start fast and be at least three and three at the bye. If not, Levis could take over and who knows what could happen from there. Personally, I think Vrabel will get this team to at least eight wins and I would recommend betting the over, but I'm going to pass on placing the bet on the Titans myself. Now you can check out your favorite team as I am breaking down all 32 before the season starts. Tomorrow is the Detroit Lions, so I will see you tomorrow.